everyone myself dr a nareesh kumar assistant professor in the department of electrical and electronics engineering institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad today we are going to solve question bank module 4 that means dc machines in that part part a problem solving and critical thinking questions in that total here total 10 questions out of 10 question first problem so first problem is a 250 volts lap on dc generator has full load armature current of 100 amps the armature resistance is 0.2 ohms and the number of armature conductors 272 the contact draw for two brushes is 2 volts and flux per pole is 0.05 webers determine the generated emf and speed now here solution for this moving on to the solution the given data here z equals to z equals to 272 number of turns and next armature current ia equals to 100 amps and supply volt that uh, terminal voltage v equals to 250 volts and armature resistance ra is equals to 0.2 ohms and next the brush drop two brushes there is a contact drop that drop is v voltage brush contact drop is that one v drop equals to 2 volts here there is a flux flux equals to 0.05 weber flux per pole now determine the induced dmf and speed speed so here we know the formula here eg equals to eg equals to v plus ia ra plus brush contact drop here v is 250 volts this one and ia is 100 amp this one is ia this is v and ra is this one next brush drop voltage drop across the brushes two brushes two volts now you can determine 250 plus 100 into 0.2 next this brush drop the final value is 270 ohms now here this is induced emf now we know the another formula for induced emf zn5 by 16 into p by a this one here eg generated induced emf zn5 by 16 into p by a here z indicates number of conductors and n indicates speed in uh, rotations per minute rpm and phi indicates flux and p number of poles in a dc machine dc generator and a indicates number of parallel paths here a equals to p for lap winding a is equals to 2 for wave winding for wave winding here there is here mentioned this is lap winding a is equal to p here number of poles in the question not given but here a equals to p means numerator and denominator is same we can cancel numerator and denominator a is equal to p now if you substitute in this this eg equals to 272 and z equals to same 272 flux equals to 0.05 and p a equals to p now here this one zn5 by 60 into p by a v plus ia ra plus brush drop now substitute in this from this here emf equals 270 we determine and next fr from this from this we know all this this is z5 p a and this is 272 from this if you determine this one n equals to n equals to the value is 1200 if you calculate this 
that is 1200 rpm 1200 rpm now next problem second problem A four pole DC shunt generator with wave connected armature has 41 slots and 12 conductors per slot. RA equals to armature resistance RA is equals to 0 0.5 ohms, RSH is equals to 200 ohms, shunt resistance. Flux per pole is 125 uh, millivibers. When the generator is driven at, uh, at a speed of 1000 rpm, calculate the voltage across 100 ohms load resistance connected across the armature terminal. Now, solution for this, the given data. First, RSH. RSH is a shunt resistance and RA is equal to 0 0.5 ohms RSH shunt resistance armature resistance and this is shunt resistance if you draw the diagram for shunt generator this is the armature A A this is the field shunt SH RSH and this is a RA RA is 0 0.5 and RSH is 200 and if you connect the load here this is the load now vol voltage across the load is 10 ohms resistor this is 10 ohms resistor now here number of conductors Z equals to here number of slots are 41 and 12 conductors uh, conductor per slot indicates total number of conductors equals to number of slots into this conductors 12 41 into 12 z equals to and speed equals to 1000 rpm and flux equals to 125 weber for meters milli Webers. Now, here from this, here this is wave connected armature. What do you mean by wave connected? Number of parallel paths A equals to P and A equals to 2. Number of parallel paths equals to number of poles in case of lap winding and in case of wave winding, this wave type of winding A equals to 2 only. A equals to 2 only. Now, here the formula Eg equals to V plus Ia Ra, the induced DMF. Here, Ia Ra. Here, what about Ia? Ia indicates here this is ISH. This is the Ia and this one is the IL. Ia equals to now, if you apply KCL at this node, IA equals to ISH plus IL. Here, apply KVL. IA. IA is the entering current and these two currents are leaving currents. Now, IA equals to ISH plus IL. Here, ISH, what about ISH? ISH equals to. Now, substitute in this. This in place of IA, you can write here ISH plus IL. What about ISH and IL? IL indicates, ISH indicates total voltage divided by RSH. And IL equals to, this This is the total voltage. And here, you need to uh, know about the parallel connection properties. In the parallel case, same voltage developed across each element means supply voltage equals to some of the supply voltage equals to all individual elements voltage in case of parallel case here load armature and shunt all are connected in parallel in case of shunt generator so same terminal voltage and armature voltage and shunt voltage is same 
Now here the terminal voltage. We need to calculate here terminal voltage. Voltage across 10 ohms. This 10 ohms resistor voltage. Now here V by RSH. This, this current ISH equals to this current equals to this voltage is this V. V by RSH and this current IL equals to this voltage divided by this resistance RL is given. RL equals to 10 ohms. Now here substitute in this ISH equals to V by RSH and IL, IL equals V by RSH. Now EG equals to V by V plus I by V by RSH plus V by RL into RA. Now we know the induced EMF formula Zn pi by 16 to P by F. Now that formula Zn pi by 16. Z equals to same 41 into 12 and this is 1000 and this one is 0 0.125 and this one is 4 pole and this number of parallel paths equals to 2. Now here you can if you substitute this induced EMF now calculate this one you will get this one 2050 this one substitute in uh, substitute in this equation you will get RA equals to what about RA equals to 0 0.5 and RSH equals to 200 ohms and RL equals to 10 ohms. Now in this if you substitute all this 2050 equals to V plus V by 200 this is RSH and V by 10 this is RL and this RA is 50. Now here the final value for terminal voltage VT equals V equals to 1947. Now third problem. A 4 pole DC generator having wave wound armature. Wave wound means A equals to 2 only, not A equals to P. And armature has 50 slots and 25 conductors per slot. Here Z equals to Z equals to 50 into 25. And find the generated EMF. If it is driven at 25 rpm, n equals to 25 rpm, and useful flux in the machine is 0 0.03 Weber's. Means here this is a flux. So all parameters are given. Now here the generated EMF formula. What is the formula here? The given data. Eg is equal to Zn pi by 60 into P by A. In the last problem we discussed this formula and problem. Now here 50 into 25 this is Z and 25 is the this is N and this is the flux and this is the P number of poles P this one and this one is A equals to 2. This is only for wave winding and for lap wind if it if they mentioned in the lap wound armature means this a equals to substitute 4 only now the final value for this is 31.25 volts next fourth problem a 30 kilowatts 300 volts DC shunt generator has an armature and field resistance. So this is RA and this is RSH. RA is this one and RSH. And calculate the power de developed by armature when it delivers full load output. Now power developed by armature indicates. So here power developed means here that armature current and induced EMF multiplication is the power developed by armature when it delivers full load output. Now first in the solution RSH the given data RSH is equal to 100 and 
आर ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव आर्मेचर रेसिस्टेंस शेंट रेसिस्टेंस एंड टर्मिनल वोल्टेज वी इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड वोल्ट एंड टोटल पावर थर्टी किलो वाट नाउ हियर द पवर डेवलपड वाट अबउट पवर डेवलपड Now here see the formula is first E G equals to V plus I A R A. Now here R A is given zero point zero five ohms and V equals to three hundred. And what about I A? We know the formula for I A. I A equals to this is the generator. This is the armature. This is the field, and this one is the load. All are co connected in parallel. This is I A, and this is I S H. This one is the I L. Here I A equals to I L plus I S H. Now I A equals to I L plus I S H. Next. I L equals to what about I L and I S H? I S H same voltage. This is the terminal voltage, load voltage. Terminal voltage equals to armature terminal voltage. Same voltage because all are all are connected in parallel. This field winding voltage is also V. Now from this we can determine this I S H equals to this total voltage divided by resistance. This one I S H equals to V by R S H. Next, here this formula is important. In the previous problem, we mentioned I L equals V by R L. R L. Same way here you can write this one V by R L also formula. Now here the total power thirty kilowatts divided by next this total voltage this one. Now here if you substitute if you this is I L equals to total. What about I L? This one, this I L equals to total 30 kilowatts. 30 kilowatts means 30 into 10 power 3 and divided by shunt. Uh, next, this voltage, voltage terminal voltage is a 300. This one, this is the V L, and this one is the power. Now here, this if you simplify this one, and this one is the 100 ohms, 100. Amps. This one. Now, what about I S H? I S H equals to V by R S H. What about V? V is the three hundred, and this is R S H is the hundred. Three hundred by hundred. That means three amps. Now here, this is the hundred, and this one is three. Hundred plus three is one zero three. Armature current is. One zero three, and this is a zero point zero five. Now calculate the E G E G value. Three hundred plus one zero three into zero point five. That equals to this one three zero five point one five. Next. This is only induced DMF, not power developed by armature when it delivers full load output. Now, what what is the formula? Power developed equals to I I A into E G is equals to here I A is this one and I E G is this one. This is E G. This is I A. Now. The final value is thirty one point four three zero kilowatts. Next, fifth one, twenty five kilowatts, two fifty volts DC generator has armature and field resistances of this is armature zero point zero six ohms R A. And this one is a field resistance R S H. Next, determine the total power develop uh, delivered when working as a generator, delivering twenty five kilowatt output, and 
motor taking 25 kilowatt input so here why they have mentioned generator delivered 25 kilowatt output and motor taking 25 kilowatt input here motor takes the energy electrical energy and generator delivers the electrical energy 25 watts delivering kilowatts delivering the power that is electrical energy and 25 kilowatt electrical energy is receiving the power electrical power now solution for this now same formula this is ia this is the ish and this one is the load voltage same thing same formulas this is p and this is v and eg equals to v plus iria last class fourth uh, last problem same procedure but here only one extra thing is uh, motor uh, taking as a 25 kilowatt input now here eg equals v plus ia ra and ia what about uh, this is 250 and ra is 0 0.06 and ia equals same thing ia equals to il plus this is il plus ish apply kvl at this node now ia equals to il plus h I, il plus ish and ish is this one b by rsh same voltage developed across each element in case of parallel case that v by this voltage divided by this rsh is ish and this power this this power divided by this voltage indicates this il this one here you can write v by rl also now here now if you determine this this is 25 kilowatt and this one is the rsh this one is the this one this is 25 kilowatt and this one is the terminal volt this one and this is 100 amp 25 1000 divided by 250 is a 100 amp that is line uh, load current this is 100 amp and next shunt current is a uh, this one voltage 250 volts terminal voltage this one and this this one rsh is a 100 and this one is a 2.5 amp now here this is 100 and this is 2.5 now here 100 plus 2.5 is 102.5 and this is terminal voltage this one is the armature current this one and this is the armature resistance the value for induced emf is 256.15 now this is only induced emf power developed by armature is eg into ia that means pg pg is equal to ia ra this is the induced emf eg and this one is the ia the value the calculated value is 26.255 kilowatts now this is uh, as a generator delivering 25 kilowatt output now second problem working as a motor taking 25 kilowatt input now second case second problem same thing only the difference here the arrow mark this one this is the a a a and this is the field winding and this one ish and this one is the il and this one is the ia now here IL is equal to IA plus ISH if you apply KCL at this node. Now see the difference between DC generated circuit, DC shunt generator and DC shunt motor. I will draw the diagram also shunt generator previous one. Then only you will get idea. This is a field winding and this one is a load. 
this one is a load current IL, this one is a ISH and this one is IA. Armature terminals and field terminals, field terminals. Now, if you apply KCL, generator delivers the power to the load here, delivering the power and armature current is upwards and this one is, this is delivering load side, this IL current and here IL is the line current. So motor, this is motor case and this is generator case, generator case. In motor case, it takes the current, it takes the power from the supply. Now here IL equals to IL equals to IA plus ISH. Now here IA equals to IL minus ISH. Here you need to uh, determine, uh, you need to know about this plus sign man. Here plus for IA equals to IL plus ISH. Plus for generator and minus for motor. Now here same thing, only the arrow marks, this plus sign minus, you need to keep it in mind, this one, plus for motor, uh, sorry, minus for motor and plus for generator. Now see the formula and one thing here, this is the EG and this one is the V and this one is the IARA. Here, this one is a terminal voltage and this one is a EG. Here, there is a back EMF, not, not B. Here, back EMF, something, there is a wrong in this, EB. EB equals to V minus IARA. In case of generator, EG, generated EMF for DC generator and back EMF for DC motor. And there is a plus for DC generator and minus for DC motor. Now EB equals to V minus IA RA and here IA equals to this one IL minus ISH for generator case IL plus ISH. Now same thing we determine previous one and 100 and 2.5 amps 102.5. So previous case addition here now here there is a subtraction 100 minus 2.5 that means 97.5 amperes now substitute in this here v equals to 250 and this is armature current 97.5 and next one this one is the armature resistance ra ia and this is 244.15 volts this is uh, back emf back EMF. Now, armature current is 97.5. Now, the power, uh, this is, power uh, taking is here, e, IA into EB, that equals 244, this is EB and this one is the IA. Now, the final value is 23.804 kilowatts. Sixth problem, a 250 volts shunt, shunt motor takes a total current of 20 amps. This is IL, line current, not load. Load current is for DC generator and line current is for DC motor. Now here shunt field uh, resistance RSH is 200 ohms and RA, armature resistance for 0 0.3. Now determine back EMF, EB not EG, EB in case of DC EMF, back EMF and gross mechanical power developed in the armature. Moving on to the solution, the given data RSH and RA is 200 ohms this one is 0 0.3 and il is 20 amps and supply voltage is 250 volts 
Now the formulas related E B is equal to V minus I A R A. E B equals V minus I A R A means this is V and this one is the two fifty and this one is zero point three. And what about I A and R S H? Now first I S H. I S H formula this one. And I A equals this I A is equal to this one I L minus I S H. Last class we discussed about this formula I L minus I S H. Here I L is the twenty amps and I S H is the this one one point two five twenty minus one point two five that is eighteen seven point eighteen point seven five amperes. Now here eighteen point Seven five substitute in this so two fifty eighteen point seven five and zero point three. Now the value is this one two forty four point three seven five volts. That is back EMF only. First question. This one. This is first question and this is second question. Now here the gross mechanical power developed in the armature. So the gross mechanical power developed in the armature means E B into I A. That one is equal to the gross mechanical power developed is equal to E B into I A. This is E B and this one is the I A. Two fifty four four five eight two four thousand five hundred eighty two point zero three watts here. Now in kilowatts four point five eight two kilowatts. Now seventh problem. A four pole, a four pole DC motor. This one, a four pole DC motor is fed at four forty volts and takes armature current of fifty amps. This is I A. In the previous problem, they are given total current. Total current indicates line current. Here, armature current directly given. Now here this is I A. In the previous problem, total current means I L is given. Now the resistance of armature circuit is zero point two eight ohms. This is R A. In the previous problem, shunt resistance also given. So the shunt resistance is used to determine the I S H and after that I A value. Now the armature winding is wave connected. The, this means A is equals to two. For wave connection, A is equal to two, and the number of conductors Z equals to. In the armature, eight eight eight, and useful flux is zero point flux per fold, zero point zero two three Weber's. Now calculate the speed of the motor. So we know the formula Z n phi by sixty into P by A. For generator case, E G equals to generated E M F and back E M F is also same formula. Now here first the formula is here E B equals V minus I A R A. E B is here four forty volts and I A is fifty and this one is zero point two A. So first determine this E B. This one four twenty six. Volts next and E B equals Z N five by sixty into P by A. Here A equals to two and P equals to four. This Z equals to eighty eighty eight and this one is zero point zero two three. And now here the speed speed you need to determine here N equals to and sixty is all sixty and this is four twenty six. This one four twenty six. Now from this determine this one final one six twenty five RPM or six twenty six RPM six twenty five six twenty six RPM. Now eighth one find the useful flux per pole on no load of two fifty volts six pole shunt generate shunt motor. Having wave connected here, A equals to two. Same thing. 
connected wave connected armature winding and with 110 turns 110 turns indicates one turn equals to two conductors so here z equals to 110 into 2 z number of turns into 2 now here the armature resistance r a is equals to 0.2 and the armature current is 13.3 amperes at the no load speed of 908 rpm now moving on to the solution and the given data same z equals to wave connected this to vt equals to and poles equals to this one 6 and armature current ia and this is the speed same formulas this is speed same formula z eb equals to zn5 by 16 to p by a and eb equals to v minus ia ra this one this he this one is 250 volts and this one is 13.3 and this is 0.2 ohms now here 90 now another uh, this if you determine this one 243 250 and this one this one ia ra and 247 is the back emf now here the formula same thing z n5 by as it is formula z n5 by 16 to p by a here uh, useful flux find out the useful flux here phi is you need to determine now z equal substitute same values this this is 247.3 this one and this one a equals to 2 and p is 6 p ko number of pole 6 and z equals to 110 into 2 not 110 turns are different conductors are different now here this is z 110 turns and 1 220 conductors this is the turn here conductor 1 and conductor 2 two. two conductors makes the one turn if you add two conductors and this is the turn so here 110 turns indicates 110 into 2 is the total number of conductors in the armature winding and next <coughs> this is the speed and this is pole pole c equals to 6 and a equals to 2 for wave winding now the final value 247 is the voltage the flux per pole this is the 24 mil 24 milli webers that means phi equals to 0.024 webers 24 milli webers now ninth question a 250 volts a four pole shunt motor has 540 lap wound lap wound means a equals to p and here p equals to 4 so a equals to p equals to 4 lap wound conductors it takes 32 amps il from the main supply supply mains and delivers output power this much 5.595 kilowatts and the field winding takes this much current 1 amp current and the armature resistance is 0.9 and the useful flux per pole 30 milli webers the speed determines the speed and torque developed in the newton meter torque units are newton meter solution here the given data z equals to 540 a, a equals to p equals to 4 and v equals to 220 and ia il is equal to 32 and ish is equal to this is the shunt field winding is 1 amp from this you can determine ia equals to 32 minus 1 that is the 31 amps and this ra is equals to 0.9 and flux equals to 30 from this we can determine Uh, speed and torque here first 
E B equals to V minus I A R A. Here V B indicates two twenty, two twenty volts, and I A indicates thirty one. Same thing. I L minus I S H. This is thirty one, and this one is the zero point nine. Here now the zero point nine. Now thirty one. This is the thirty one. I A. And this one is a R A, and this one is a V. So the value of back E M F is one ninety two point one, and the back E M F formula in DC motor E B equals to Z N phi by sixteen to P by A. Now same thing you can substitute in this. You need to determine this speed value and Z equals to Z equals to what about Z value? Z equals phi forty. 540 is here 540 and flux per pole is 30 millivolts 0.03 and p equals to a equals to p means you can cancel it now substitute in this 540 z 530 weber 30 millivolts and this is and this one is a eb now here 711.711 Point five RPM. Now the last problem. Now, now next in this second one, torque developed in the Newton uh, Newton meter. So what about torque formula? Torque equals to here zero point one five nine Z phi I A into P by A. This one. So, now here. This one. Now here Z equals to five forty and phi equals zero point zero three and I A equals what about I A equals to thirty one and P is equal to four and A equals to four for lap pending. Now if you substitute here, same thing. This one is fixed and this Z phi I A and this one lap pending. You can cancel the torque formula Newton meter. Seventy nine point eight four. Now last problem. This is important. A four forty volts DC shunt motor takes a no load current of two point five amps and the resistance of shunt field and the armature are five fifty ohms and one point two ohms respectively. Now. The full load line current is 32 amps. The, find the full load output. We need to determine this one and efficiency of the motor. This problem based on a Simmons test. Simmons test. Uh, if you conduct Simmons test on DC shunt motor, so the no load current 2.5 and full load current 32 amps. Solution to this. Now. So what about efficiency? First, efficiency means that means always output by input into hundred. We know this formula: full load out efficiency equals to full load output divided by full load output into hundred. Now, if you give input to any machine, you will get output and you will get some losses also. Here, input equals to output plus losses, and now. Output equals to input minus losses. Here, why we are taking input means here motor takes electrical supply as the input. Now, here first determine full load output is equal to full load output input minus losses. Now, efficiency equals to full load input minus total losses divided by full load input into hundred. Why we are taking as a full load input And total losses because here electrical energy as the input to the DC motor. If you want to calculate efficiency of the DC generator, for that case full load output divided by full load output plus losses. The in the generator case output is the electrical energy. So keep it in mind that point full load input minus total losses divided by full load output. The next thing. Here full load input, full load input is electrical energy. 
Now here full load input is the this one full load current line current is the 440 into 32 that equals to this one watts 14080 watts 14080 watts now here we got total total uh, input and full we need full load output this one we got uh, full load and full load input now here total losses this is the main task in this problem main main problem total losses what about total losses what are the losses input is okay but losses here what are the losses here losses here total constant losses and full load armature copper losses so first calculate the armature copper losses and then calculate the full load copper losses and add these two copper two losses constant losses and full load co armature copper losses you will get total losses and total losses after getting total losses substitute in this and full load input is this one full load input minus total losses you will get full load output and efficiency equals to full load input minus total losses divided by full load input into 100 here the main thing is you need to determine total losses in the machine first i will explain constant losses and then i will explain full load copper losses here constant losses constant losses formula is no load input minus no load armature copper losses what about no load input no load input means here v into this one il so here what about v v is the 440 volts and this is the il naught this is the ILF full load current now here this one equals to 440 into 2.5 that equals to 1100 watts now here what about no load armature copper losses no load armature copper losses means IA naught square into RA what about IA naught RA is given here RA value is 1.2 is okay that one is okay what about IA naught IA naught is equal to IL equals, we know this formula, IL equals IA naught plus IL. Now, IA, IA, IA equals IL minus ISH. We know this formula, it no load condition. So, now here, IL equals to, what about IL and ISH? Now, here, ISH. ISH equals to, ISH equals 440 by, this RSH is given. This one, this is RSH and this is the RA. Now here RSH V by RSH is equal to 0 0.8. This is 0 0.8 and this one is the 2.5. 2.5 minus 0 0.8 is the 1.7 amperes and this is the IA naught. No load armature current. If you know the no load armature current and armature resistance, then you can determine the no load armature copper losses. Now here no load armature copper losses equals to this is IA naught and this is a RA and now here this is a 1.7 square into 1.2 that equals to 3.5 watts now we got no load armature copper losses and no load input loss 11 1100 and this one is a 3.5 now here total constant losses equal to 1100 minus 3.5 that equals to 1096.5 watts constant losses we determined this is 1096.5 watts total here the input is uh, the total uh, full load uh, input with calculated and in the losses total losses constant losses only we determined next full load armature copper losses the next slide here this is 1096.5 we calculated now full load armature copper losses equals to this one ia this is the full load armature current now that one equals to this is now in the previous case we consider this current only no load current now here consider full load current then only you will get full load armature current and armature copper losses now here this one equals to il minus ish here IL equals 32.32 and this one 0 0.8 what about this ISH equals to this one uh, uh, 440 divided by ISH equals to V by RSH 5 and 550 this one this equals 0 0.8 this one and this one 
this equals 0 0.8 that equals 31.5 amperes now full load armature copper losses equals to ia square ra is equal to 31.2 square into this is the ra and this one is the ia and this one this is 11 1168 watts 1168 watts now we have constant losses and full load armature copper losses now here is 96 now if you add these two losses and you will get total losses after getting total losses now here total loss this is this is constant these are constant losses and these are armature copper losses total losses equals to double two six four point five watts total losses now efficiency output equals to input minus losses so this already we determined one four zero eight zero and this one is a total losses so full load output this one full load output and efficiency equals to output by input into 100 here output equals to input minus losses here this is the 440 into 32 minus and this one is this one double to 64.5 divided by this one now if you simplify this you will get 83.9 percentage efficiency so now here we have total 10 problems now in this module uh, just uh, keep it in mind just z equals to e b e g equals to z n phi by 60 into p by a these are most important problems i am giving you and for the generator case e e g equals to v plus i a r a and if you if they will give um voltage drop brush contact drop add that voltage drop and next thing ia equals to il plus ish and next for motor case torque equals to torque torque equals to 0 0.159 z z phi ia into p by a so this is the motor dc motor torque equation in that case eg equals to v minus ia ra and il ia equals to il minus ish and next thing here a equals to p and a equals to p this is for lap winding and this one is a wave winding and another thing and that power here this is e not eg this is motor eb motor case this one is a generator case dc generator case and next thing this eg e eg into ia is the power uh, generated and gross power equals to eb into ia so these are the formulas next efficiency formula output by input so these are the formulas next total losses equals to constant losses plus full load armature copper these are the main problems the main formulas you need to determine now i hope all these uh, problems are clear to you just mug up these formulas before going to the examination so most important formulas okay i hope all these uh, problems are clear to you if you still have any doubts you can comment in the comment section below i will answer to your queries Thank you, thank you very much to you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.